Andreki Namaskaramalu Namona Maha. Today is another good day for uh, all of us. We are going to have a lecture on uh, Panchangam, which we generally refer to every day uh, by Sundari Prakhyaji. Now she is in USA. I will introduce her briefly after uh, Vande Mataram and Prarthana. I request uh, Sala Chitti Babu Garu to recite Vande Mataram, please. Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Sujala Sufala Malaya Jasi Dala Sasya Syamala Mataram Vande Mataram Sobra Josna Pulakita Yamini Pulla Kusumita Drumadala Sobhini Suhasini Sumadhura Bhashini Sukadam Varadam Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Dhanivadam Nandi Salla Chitipa Bhagaru Now let us request Sarada Garu to Can Prathana please Sarve Bhyo Namaskaraha Pradamam Vayam Sarve Samyak Upavishamaha Merudan Sakshat Stapayamaha Netre Nimiliamaha Rupaya Hitis Tata Ma Pasyantu Idani Omkaram Trivaram Vadamaha Om Jananam Tva Ganapatigam Havamahe Kavin Kavinam Upamasramastamam Jestarajam Brahmanam Brahmanaspata Ana Surnvan no dibhisida sadhanam Om Sri Mahagana Dipataye Namaha Om Prano Devi Saraswati Vaje Bhir Vaje Nivati Inama Vitre Yavatu 
ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರೇವ ಗತಿ ಗುರು ಮೇವ ಭಜೆ ಗುರು ನೈವ ಸಹಸ್ಮಿ ನಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮ ಶಿಶುರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಾಂ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಉಪಾಸ್ಮೇ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಸವ ಭಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಮಲಂಡಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ನೌ ಐಲ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಟು ಯು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಂದರಿ ಗಾರು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಮಿತಿ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಂಚಾಂಗಂ for all the batches which have happened so far which you know we have uh, already completed four batches of basic level 1 one basic level 2 advanced course and also one for youth in all these classes she has uh, taught uh, the basics of panchangam and uh, advanced calculations also for the advanced course she stays in hyderabad at present of course she is in us with her family and she is a phd in astro sciences ma in astrology and post graduate diploma in management and bachelor of sciences uh, in from andhra university and she has a vast experience and basically she has uh, 20 years of rich experience with the department of uh, posts and telegraph posts only india uh, took uh, voluntary retirement as postmaster bhopal gpo 10 plus years of experience in astro astrology and learned different methods like uh, kp astrology nakshatra nadi gemini dna astrology drik Ganita Siddhanta Panjangam is a writer of uh, Ketaki uh, Drik Siddhanta Panjangam and uh, she has written, she uh, writes every, every year religious uh, this, this book on Panjangam and uh, distributes everybody and uh, she delivered speeches on various TV programs, YouTube channels about topics on uh, 
Sanatana Dharma and Jyotir Shastra published different articles in various astrology magazines. Scholar of uh, Gemini Astrological Biolingual Monthly e magazine. She is interested in reading Puranas, Vedic culture, and learning Sanskrit. And there is another angle uh, to her uh, credit that she is a uh, very good sports person. She is good at uh, table tennis. One of the top three selected to represent the state of Andhra Pradesh at All India level table tennis uh, tournament for women held at Shillong, Madhalaya. Selected as sole representative for table tennis from a pool of 600 plus trainees, winner of uh, first prize among his trainees across four states at PTC Mysore. Winner of first prize in inter college games at district level, West Godavari district, AP, actively participated and won multiple prizes in table tennis competitions held at various uh, clubs, Rotary Club, Lions Club, and uh, Postal Recreation Club. She is also good at uh, throw ball, a winner of first prize among his teams across four states at PTC Mysore, represented college and won first prize in inter-college uh, games, West Godavari District AP. So the person who is good at sports, is overall good at all activities, so is Panchangam. These are the passion she started, and now she is an expert in this. So she will uh, take us through the uh, basics of Panjanga in two days, today and tomorrow. So let us request her, welcome her for this webinar. Sundariji, please. Thank you, sir. Sarveb Namaskar. Sri Guru Namaskar. Welcome back to fifth batch of these students. So, Today and tomorrow, we are going to discuss the Panchangam basics. You heard the name Panchangam, I think, everybody. Because everybody knows what is Panchangam. Because in every house, how to Panchangam is there, I think so, in our in our culture. You see the Panchangam ceremony in this, you see. Because we heard this name Panchangam generally, Whenever the Ugadi festival, the year starting in Nutana Samasra starting, Panchanga Sravana, we are waiting what is the year, how is the total year, what is the result of the year, everything. So I think basically everybody heard the name of Panchanga. One other way, Panchanga in our houses regularly, this is one type of handbook. For day to day things, how to perform, when you have to do. Because indirectly or directly, this is the description of the Kalas Parupa. Sarva Dharaha Kalaha. Everything is related to Kalam time. That describes by Panchanga. This is one part of the astrology, the Skandha Bhagavan. Panchanga. Means in the May, Panchanga means the word is different. Pancha means five, you know, everybody, five angas. Who are having the five angas consists is called Panchanga, five parts. Today and tomorrow, we are detailedly discussing of the briefly, briefly, because it is very much syllabus, Panchanga calculations and everything. But we have to, in an interest idea about us, what is the Panchangam, what is the contents of Panchangam, how to use the Panchangam whenever it is helpful in daily life. These are all the things we have to know in this two days, today and tomorrow. Then if you are anybody interested, then go on through the others, continue also. But this is only, we have to know the Panchangam basics. What is the five parts? What is the Devatas? How to use in day-to-day -day life? What is, because every auspicious, in our space, we have to refer the Panchangam. 
everybody will without reference anybody we can make you know, in our own how to select the muhurtam so we can read the what is today how which things you are going to do because related to all this time kalam kala swarup means panchanga that's why we have to started reading panchanga shravanan ugadi festival because the entire year briefly describes and directions all the things what is the atmosphere how it is there see it. the five parts mikas means chithi varancha nakshatram yoga karanam eva cha panchangam divikshatam kaloyam karma sadakam if you do any work karma means work any work you have to know which tithi today which varam tithi varam nakshatram what is the today star what is the yoga what is the karana tithi vara nakshatra yoga karana these are the five parts of the panchangam description of so before going to panchangam first we have to basic knowledge of the about planets saura kutumbam because we have to know little bit solar system and astrology also what is the movements of the planets everybody knows planets influence on the earth some nine planets influence on the earth also we know everybody that thing different theories are there but what is the first we have to know nine planets are there exist in the solar system we know that the influence on planets on the earth spiritual phenomena that defines the astrology what is the movements of the planets when it will come when we will change this earth the astrology means most ancient subject this is astro astrology the most ancient science this is not subject this is science one of science and reach a considerable perfection in mean, india thousands of years ago Okay, astrology basically it comes from the foretelling of the regular movements of the planets, the fortunes and misfortunes of human beings because planets influence on the earth regularly. That how they bring that good things or bad things and atmosphere, all these things tells the astrology whenever it will happen like that. <laughs> Fates of nation. because the entire world what what will happen earthquakes eruptions cyclones rains when will come the incidents relating to the terrestrial phenomena all these things explained with the astrology this is one part of the in panchangam also it describes in sanskrit it is called hora shastra means science that takes time you know mm. now is the kalam everything is under the control of the time everybody knows that it is also called jyotishya or knowledge of light from jyoti our light which is the root causes for all known creation according to western interpretation astrology is derived from astar a star and logos reason or logic so astrology is the basically is very important of veda purusha sanghas adhasika mayurana nagana manayoyata tad vedanga shastrana jyotisham murkhanistam jyotisham is the very very important angam of the veda purusha you know everybody knows the shadanga sadhe Shadangam, Vyakaranam, Siksha, Niruttam, Kalpam, Chandasu, Jyotisham. Isn't it? In all of that, the eyes, Sarvedayanam, Nainam, Prasanam, like that, Jyotisthanam is Vedapusha eyes, Nethrasthan. Is Shadangas derived some important things, one derived from Vedanga. This is one way of the Vyakaranam. Hmm. everybody i think we already know that vyakaranam deals with the grammar of sanskrit language the second one shiksha shiksha vyakaranam shiksha deals with phonetics and the essence of the vedic mantras niruktam deals with etymology of words contained in vedic mantras 
The fourth one is the Kalpam. Deals with method of sacrifice and code of conduct as follows. Fifth one is Chandas. Deals with procedure of the Vedic mantras. The last one, not the sixth one is Jyotishyam. Deals with astrology and astronomy. Basically, this is uh, briefly Shadangas. Out of Shadangas, important one is the Jyotishyam. Because this is light, we have to see all the things, whatever in Vijay. And also Skandha Trayatmakam, this Sastram. Because the astrology is contains of three Vadrayatmakam, three Siddhanta, Siddhanta, Ganita, and Samhita. And fal, Siddhanta Falta Bhagam. Panchangam belongs to the Siddhanta Bhagam. Siddhanta means what is the principles, how to moments, this is the fixed, this is Siddhanta. Ganita means how to cal calculate methods, mathematics. That result gives the Falta Bhagam, sam Samhita. You know everybody is Susti, Siti, Laya. Elements entering all matters, all the dimensions of the eternal power. The acts of creation, that is Susti. Production, Stiti, and destruction is Laya. Are embedded the womb of all powerful. Time and this variation are brought about the consequence of the subtle power. The sun, the main planet of the Navagrahas or solar system. The sun by his daily movements and change of seasons bring the perfection embryo to plants and animals and brings about various changes on the earth. So we know that. The moon is nearest to the earth. Exercise much influence on it. Under the waves and waxes, rivers swell, the tides of the sea are ruled, and the plants and animals affected. The sun and moon both are the eyes of the Lord Shiva. The sun and the central figure predominates over the entire arrangement of the celestial system. And the other planets and solar stars are directed by the races. We know that. The zodiac brand is a broad band and belt in the heavens exceeding nine degrees on each side of the eclipse. The eclipse or the path of the sun passes exactly through the center of the axis. Zodiac longitudinally. It is imaginary circle about 360 degrees and divided this zodiac into 12 equal parts, 30 degrees each. It means each part having 30 degrees, 12 into 30 is 360 degrees, entire circle, each being named as after translation. The quality, the quality of each sign is not equally spread, but every degree of sign has two peculiar qualities. The Juryak Nana is a Bhachakram in the Sanskrit revolves on axis once a day from east to west. That is everybody knows. The planetary ops, which is the ancient recognized as having most powerful influence on our earth, are seven, leaving aside the shadow planets of Rahu Ketu. So many are there, but only influence on the earth only. Seven main planets and two shadow planets. Total is nine Navagrahas. <coughs> Here the inhibitions of the earth. We are concerned with the influence of the celestial bodies on our planet. All the planets perform the double function of not only revolving their own axis, once in a day from west to east, but also around the sun. According to Surya Siddhantam, which is the ancient Siddhantam, Saturn is the most distant planet from the earth. Then order to the distance, next is Jupiter, Mars, the sun, 
venus mercury and moon come next in the order that distance from the terrestrial globe thus we thus we see that the nearest planet at our own or to the moon the velocity of each planet dimensions it is distance from the earth increases this sun roughly the movements are different from each planet speed and daily motions how they moves what time you have take to rotate and like that we have no the sun moves at the rate roughly 1 degree of the circle of light zodiac in one day composed 24 hours and it takes 365 days 6 hours to complete the circle round of the zodiac sign it means sun every day moves 1 degree so to complete one circle one sign 30 days it takes time roughly the very speed in planet in the entire navagraha see the moon the moon takes average rate four and a half gatis or one hour 40 minute 48 hours to travel to the degree of the space it totally you know bhaja kray 360 degrees it takes one degree very speed planet all among all nine planets so degree of the space mars the next one is the mars moves at the average rate of 45 days per 30 degrees and the one sign he has completed traveling 45 days roughly it takes one hour of day per degree mercury the next one is the mercury mercury moves Uh, moves at the average rate of one and a half degrees at about an account of closeness to the sun the mercury planet is very close to the sun and due to the solar influence it is very unsteady because very close to the sun mercury completes the average in one sign 27 days he gets into forward and backward motions because it is very near to the sun motions from the sun and attain the called convection sometimes it will convection it hardly takes a day to move in each degree but moves and more rapidly for some time and get in front of the sun then begins to move slowly sometimes and goes backwards from the sun this is the different planet because near to the sun mercury these two states of convection moving toward and backward in the position of the sun as designed at the astronomical work the prag stambha and pachchham stambha prag indicates towards east of the sun and the pachchham indicates towards west of the sun in these double motions of backward and forward mercury never gets away more than 20 degree 28 degrees in this direction from the sun the next distant planet jupiter jupiter guru graha at average rate of one year each sign of 30 degrees sometimes it will be little has more than 12 signs one year also less than one year also the atichaaram that is called atichaaram sometimes rarely it will be happen but normally average will take one year for one sign this 30 degrees takes one year the venus at the rate of 1 degree per day the slowest planet among the all these saturn saturn is the lowest moving planet a lot it takes about 2 and 1/2 years or 30 months to move a sign of 30 degrees and it takes 1 month for 1 degree very slow planet entire the solar system very speed planet is moon very slow planet is saturn and shadow planets already told this is the seven planets motions movements like this this is the fixed and two shadow planets also there rahu and ketu the rahu and ketu they was an observable order the all seven planets in observable direct motion this is rahu and ketu in direct motion observable marga from east to west it takes 18 months to travel to each sign of the zodiac this once 30 degrees it has completed in 18 months all the planets 
exception the moon and shadow planets rahu ketu undergo retrogression of vakra sun moon except sun and moon all other planets sometimes they will be retrogression motion also there in the entire the total year this is the basic information about the solar system and first we have to know what are the planets are there how they moves what are the influence on our earth how many stars influence how many stars in solar system so many suns are there but on earth on the human beings are entire atmosphere only nine planets seven navagrahas two shadow planets and 27 stars this is the more influences on the earth human beings or celestial bodies and all so before that we have to remember this the solar system basic information now the, the these movements and calculations when it will come what are the everything is consist of the siddhanta bhagam some principles are made by the bushis and all and also procedures you have to calculate with the ganita bhagam these result how will the details tell the halita bhag now we are present topic today topic is panchanga already told panchanga means five angas already told what is tidhi vara nakshatra yoga karanam these five parts are called panchanga and also before going panchanga the five parts we have to know the measurement of kala swarupam also we have to know that what is kala swarupam how to measure the time if you know everybody knows we are four yugas prata yugam treta yugam dwapara yugam kali yugam like that four yugas and next one is yugam next samatsara 60 samasam one circle and again repeated six samasras ayanam third one is ayanam kala swarupam consists of the three parts yugam samatsaram ayanam rutu rutu also there and masam then next comes a masam then next fortnight paksham 15 days aho ratram day yama mohurta vigati rana Truti, etc. This is the column. Mainly, generally, we are taking the six types of column. That is, first is Samatsara, year. The next one is Ayanam, six months period. The third one is Rutu, two months period. Masam means 30 days, one month. Fortnight or Paksham, 15 days of month. Dinam means one day. 24 hours. This is the Kala Swarupa. How to measure the time? Generally, time measurement is called 60 Viparalu is equal to 1 Para. 60 Paralu is equal to 1 Vilipta or Vigadiya. 60 Vilapta is equal to 1 Lipta, 1 Ghadiya. 60 Lipta is 1 Bhaga. 30 bhagas is equal to 1 rasi. 12 rasi is equal to 1 bhaganam. 1 bhaganam is equal to 21,600 liptas. That is 1 year. Second method, 60 liptas one day, 24 hours. 7 days in consist of 1 week. 15 days, 1 fortnight. 2 fortnights, 1 month. 12 months is equal to 1 year. Two months, one rutu. Six months is one year. This is the time measurement method. This is the measurement of time. So, now already we have to know in Kalas Parupam what is Samatsaram, what is Ainam, like that. So, everybody knows in Hindu time come, you know, 60 years Samatsaram. Means one year, 365 days roughly. Among the Hindu, 60 lunar years, Chandramana. This is Chandram according to Chandramana, means moon movements. Consists of one circle, 60 years, you can do one circle. 
you know everybody now we are in the sikrodhi nam samsan recently we have to celebrate the ugadi krodhi nam samsan before that shobhakrutu 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 like that so what are the 60 is already heard the names i think so but again we have to remember once prabhava nam samsan the number one is the prabhava prabhava second one is vibhava Sukla, Primoduta, Pijodpati, Angirasa, Sri Mukha, Bhava, Yuva, Thatu, Ishvara, Bahudanya, Pramadi, Vikrama, Rusha, Chitrabhanu, Svabhanu, Sarana, Paritva, Veya, Sarvajit, Sarvadhari, Virodhi, Vikruti, Hara, Nandana, Vijaya, Jaya, Manmatha, Durmukhi, Hevalambi, Velambi, Vikari, Sharvari, Lava, Subhakrutu, Sobhakrutu, last year is Sobhakrutu, Krodhi. Now, present year we have seen the Krodhi Nam Samasram, which is 38 year out of 60. Krodhi, Visvevasu, Harabhava, Lavanga, Hilaka. Saumya, Sadharana, Virodhi Krutu, Paridhavi, Pramadija, Ananda, Rakshasa, Nala, Pingala, Kala Yukti, Siddhaharti, Gaudri, Durmukhi, Dundubhi, Rudirograri, Aktakshi, Krodhana, Akshaya. These are the 60 years of every circle, one circle. This is Samatsaram. But again, repeat this. The cycle. Why is that is the creation? How 60 years means? The first year. Cycle denotes the evolution of the new creation. Force which apparently supposed to end up the last 60 years after getting fully matured, when the new year gives rise to the new force. In Vibhava, that is the second year, these forces expanded the second year. The third year is Sukla, denotes vitality. The fourth year, Pramoduta, suggests development. Each year is something, developments and everything up to 60 years. The fifth one is Prajapati, increases the activities. Angi Rasa, 60 years, contains of different forms of newly evolved force takes, and similarly, the name are given. Like that, every year, some activity continue the, from starting to complete the circle is mature the 60 years. This is the 60 years circles. Indicates the functions of the force is supposed to till the year of Akshaya or destruction. Sets in which that the force generated in Prabhava one year to the been destroyed. This is briefly about uh, Samatsara. In the next two colors for open Ainas. We already told Ainas means duration is six months period, 180 days. In a year, consists of two Ainas. You know that. Uttarayana, Dakshinayana. Because the sun movements, they are given the name Uttarayana, Dakshinayana. Uttarayana. Coming from the winter celestate, when the sun enters Capricorn or Makara Rasi. We know everybody who have to celebrate the Sankranti. Makara Sankranti, Makara Sankramana. Capricorn, Makar Rasi, and moves in another direction. This is called Uttarayana. 
The next one is Dakshinayana. Begins with the summer solstice sun enters Cancer or Karkatagrasa. Karkataka Sankramana. And moves to southerly direction. You know, every month you already told sun moves every month, change the one rasi to another rasi. This is called Sankramana. If some recently, that 14th, last 14th of this month, I come in the Vishwa Sankramana. Means sun from Mesha rasi to coming to enter in the second Vishwa rasi, Taras sign. This is called Vishwa Sankramana. Like that, in a year, 12 Sankramana Sade, in out of the 12 Sankramana, most important is Uttarayana Makara Sankramana and Dakshinayana Makara Sankramana, sun enters into the Makara Rasi from Sagittarius sign to Makara Rasi. And Dakshinayana means the sun enters from Gemini sign to Cancer sign, that is Karkata Rasi Sankramana. This is called the Uttarayana and Dakshinayana, like that. Every month, one Sankramana will be formed. That is Mesha Sankramana. Just when which sign that enters the sun, that is called the Sankramana. Mesha Sankramana. If sun enters in the Mesha Ras series sign, it is called Mesha Sankramana. Roughly around 13th and 14th of every month, the sun changes its the sign, one sign to another, that is Sankramana. That also very auspicious time in the in our Sanatana Dharma. Guess so many rituals and Pitrakaryas and also perform in that, that Sankramana day. This is most important the Sankramanas as Uttarayana, the Makara Sankramana, and the Cancer signs, Karkara Sankramana. The next is Rutus, seasons. You know, everybody learned six seasons are there, and you know, as per our so, culture. The spins of the Hindus are six, whereas the European have only four seasons, but in our we have two months every season duration. That is total six. Seasons. Uh, two months. Vasanta Rutu means you know Telugu Masa's name, Chaitra Vaisagam. Just uh, like that. The Chaitra Vaisaga Masa's consist of Vasanta Rutu, spring season. Grishma Rutu, just uh, Ashada Masam called is Grishma Rutu, this is summer. Varsha Rutu, Sravana Bhadrabada Masa's rainy season, that is Varsha Rutu. Sharadrutu, Asvija Kartika Masam, autumn season, that is called Sharadrutu. Hemantrutu, Marga Sira Pushya Masam, winter. Sisirutu, Marga Falguna Masam, Sisirutu, that is also winter. This is the concept six Rutus in a year. Then again, you have to come the Masam. Masam means 12 months consist of the one year. You know, everybody knows Telugu Masam, names Chandra and Chandra Masams, Chaitra Masam, roughly March and April. This is called Chaitra Masam. Because the Masams names also belong to the Pornami Thiti, Chitta Nakshatram fall in the Pornama Thiti, called Chaitra Masam. Like that, they give in the names. The first one is the Chaitra Masam, comes under March and April. The Lord is the Adhidevata, is the Sukra. The Masadipati also there. We have to perform the Masa the Sukra there. And next one Masa is the Vaisaka Masam, April and May. April and May is Vaisaka Masam. This uh, Masa also Lord is Venus. Jesta Masam, third one is May and June. The Lords are Ravi Kuja, roughly May and June months. This is called Jesta Masam. The Pornami Thidi falling on the Jesta Nakshatram, that is called Jesta Masam. Vishaka Nakshatram falling on the Vaisaka Masam. Chitta star falling on the Chaitra Masam, Pornami Day. Ashada Masam, June and July. On the day Pornami Day, depending on Pornami Thidi, which the star is it, that is given the names of the Masams. Uh, Ashada Masam, Purva Shada or Uttra Shada Nakshatram will come on that Pornami Day. The Masa Lords are Ravi and Puja. Ravana Masam, July and August. The moon is Lord of Masadipati. Savana Nakshatram, Falanda, Pordami is Savana Pordima. It is called Savana Masam. Bhadra Pada Masam, August and September. The Masa Lord also is moon. 
Uttarabhadra or Purva Bhadra nakshatram fall in on that. That is called Bhadrapada Masam. The next one is Aswija Masam. Aswi nakshatram fall in on that. For me, it is called Ashada Masam. Aswija Masam. Roughly September and October month. The Masadhapati is Buddha, Mercury. Kartika Masam. Uttika nakshatram. On the, the, the day of Purnima, October, November. Masadhapati is Mercury. The next Masa is ninth Masa is Margasirsha Masa. November, December Masa, Magasira Nakshatra, Palna Purnima Tidhi. The Lord is Jupiter Guru. Pushya Masa, December and January. Again, Masa Lord, monthly Lord is Guru, Jupiter. Uh, Pushyami Nakshatram fall on the bottom. It is called Pushya Masam. Magha Masam, January and February. The Lord of the month is, Lord is, month Lord is Saturn, Semi. Magha Nakshatram fall on the bottom. It is, that's why it's called Magha Masam. Fall Guda Masam, February and March. Lord Saturn is the monthly Lord. Palguna Uttara Palguni, Purva Palguni stars fall on the day. Of the bottom is that his name is called Palguna Mas. Like this, the each name of the each lunar month is given the result of the constellation falling on the full moon day of the particular month. Already told Chitta Nakshatram falls on bottom is it is called Chetra Masam like that. Visaka Nakshatram Vaisak Masam like that. Similarly, this is the moon. Chandramanataka. According to Sauramana also there, that each Rasi already told the sun every month changes of one Rasi. That is Sauramana. Similarly, there are 12 solar months also in a year also follow. Solar month means sun transit. Already told sun transit from one sign to other sign. And also per day, one degree, tetra moves 30 degrees from 30 days. This is called, we call Sankramana, already told. Sun transit to, from Meharasi to Meshrasi, Mesh Sankramana. Roughly every month it will come 13 and 14 days, roughly. Meshrasi, that is the Sankramana. Similarly, enters all 12 Sankramanas in the year. Especially Uttarayanam, Dakshinayanam also we already told. In Makara Sankramanam begins with Uttarayana. Karkataka Sankramanam begins with Dakshanayana. The names are different Sauramanam according to Mesha means in Tamilians they fall mostly some area they fall Sauramanam also. Mesha means areas. Chitrai. The sun enters in Vushaparasi, Taras, Vaihasai, Miduna, Jiminid, Ani. Kataka and Cancer Sign Adi Adima. Simha Leo Avani. The names of the month's names Kanya Virgo Purat Sai Tula Vibla Vibra Vedraina Pru Alepsi in Scorpio Kartagai. How you say Chetra Masam Magamasam like that? In Saurmanam, according to Saurmanam, the Masa's names are like this. Danu sun enters Sagittarius Margali. Sun enters from Makara Rasi Capricorn Thai. Humbha Aquarius Masi Ravi. Meena Pisces Anguni. These are the names of Sauramanam names. They are some southern stay some places also they have followed the Sauramanam also. But naturally in our in Basically, Chandramanam, how to follow. Then next is Paksham. Paksham means 15 days. There are two Pakshams in a month. Sukla Paksham, Krishna Paksham. This also everybody heard, I think. So in Sankapam, we have to know Sukla Paksham or Krishna Paksham. Sukla Paksham consists of great of the lunar month. Ruddhi Chandra. Because any paksham begins with Pajami to Pornami, Pajami to Amavasya. 
Pajami to Pornami, the moon colors are increases one, two, three, like that. That is this formula. Shukla Paksham can say bright half of the lunar month when the moon waxes. The 15 days from the next day of the new moon to include the full moon concept the Shukla Paksham. The next Paksham is Krishna Paksham. The dark half of the lunar month because they reduce the moon colors. Krishna Paksham lunar month are 15 days from the next day of the full moon day to new moon and make up with the Krishna Paksham. This is Paksham 15 days fortnight. And next one is Thithi. You know, every month having 30 Thithis. 15 in Sukla Paksham, 15 in the Krishna Paksham. Sukla Paksham, it is. Sukla Pajami begins with Sukla Pajami. You know, first to next day of the Amavasya. That is called Sukla Pratipada Pajami. And also, every Tidhi and Nakshatra, Sanvas, everybody having the Adhidevatas also there. Masadapati, Dinadapati, Tidhi, Adhidevatas also there. There is a control on the dead lordship. Sukla Pajami. Sukla Pajami, the Lord is Agni Deva. The next one is Sukla Vidya, Ravi, Adhidevata. Sukla Trutiya, Vishwe Devatalu. Third day is Sukla Trutiya, Tadiya. The fourth one is Sukla Chetuddhi, Varuna, Lord Varuna is Adhidevata. Sukla Panchami, Ashakkara. Sukla Sasti, Adhidevata. Sixth day is the Sukla Paksham is called Indra, Lord Indra, Adhidevata. The seventh day is Sukla Saptami, Maharushi. Sukla Astami, Ajay Kapaludu. Sukla Navami, Yama, Lord Dema is at Devata. Sukla Dasimi, Vayu Deva is at Devata. Sukla Ekadasi, Goddess Parvati Devi. Sukla Dwadasi, Pitru Devatalu, Pitru Lu. Sukla Sayodasi, Kubera is at Devata. Sukla Chetudasi, Lord Shiva is at Devata. Purnima or Amavasya, the Devata is Prejapatal. Like this again, Krishna Paksha also. Krishna Pajami, Krishna Vidya, Tadiya, Krishna. But here, first we have to start Sukla Pajami, means we have to know the increase of the moon colors. And Krishna Pajami, Krishna Vidya, Krishna Tadiya, 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 like this, reduce the 16 colors one day, one day, one day. Like that, Krishna Paksham. In Krishna Paksham, Krishna Pajami to Krishna Chetuddasi, then again come Amavasya. Because there is no moon, the entire color is zero. Ravi moon is entire combust with the Ravi. That is called Amavasya. Thidi means the difference between, the Thidi means, what is the Thidi means? Difference between 12 degrees from sun to moon. This is the calculation. Sun to moon, 12 degrees difference is there. That is called one Thidi. Sun to moon to Sukla Pajami, 24 degrees suppose Sukla Vidya, continue calculate, 30 degrees is Sukla Tadiya, 48 degrees Sukla Javati, like this you can calculate, 180 degrees, first 15 days it complete 180 degrees, sun and moon quite different, exact opposite, 180 degrees, then that is called Purnima, in Purnima time the distance between sun and moon is 180 degrees. Exact opposite. Similarly, the difference again continue. 190 to do Krishna. Near to the sun. Moon travels to near to sun. That is called Krishna Pakshami. Mm, 180 difference between sun and moon. 192 degrees. 204. Like that you can count. Like the 360 degrees. Amma was the day. The sun and moon distance is 0. That is 360 degrees. That is like that. This is the Thithi's form. The names are Thithi. And the Atidevata is also same. Now we have to follow Varam. According to Surya Siddhanta, we have to Pramanika with the Surya Siddhanta. As per planet or the weekdays are formed. The difference or the in the planet or fourth or sun, 
sun kaksha to first day of Sunday. From beginning to sun kaksha to fourth hour is called first day, that is Sunday. From sun to fourth hour is Chandra, moon is called Monday. Next to fourth hour Mangala, puja is Tuesday. Next to fourth hour is Mercury is Wednesday. Next to fourth hour Jubilee is Thursday. Next to fourth hour Friday. Next to fourth hour Saturday is Saturday. Like this, seven planets, important planets are seven hours. The Ajdevas also on Sunday, Lord is Ravi. The day Lord of Monday is Moon. The planets control all the entire time. Tuesday, Lord is Mars. Wednesday, Lord is Mercury. Thursday, Lord is Jupiter. The Friday, Lord is Venus, Sukra. Saturn day Lord is Saturn. That interest on that day, that planets control. That's why we have to, Lord Adipati is also how to know. According to that day, most interest on that planet, most interest on that day. This is the Varams. Tithi Varam. Now next part is Nakshatram. That's most important. Every planet concerns one nakshatram. The stars influence are very, very much influence on Earth. Most influence every planet also passes through the, the nakshatras. The entire astronomy on Earth influence only 27. So many stars are there, but out of that only they have to identify 27 nakshatras. In Abhijit nakshatra, 28. But basically the nine planets on only 27 nakshatras. Nakshatra in Bhachakra total is consists of 27 nakshatras. First, you know the names of the nakshatras. I think you have heard, but again, we have to remember Aswani, Bharani, Krutika, Rohini, Muragasira, Arudra, Punarvasu, Pushyami, Aslesha. Makha, Purva Falguni, Uttara Falguni, Hasta, Stitta, Swati, Vishakha, Anuradha, Jesta, Mola, Purva Shada, Uttara Shada, Sravana, Dhanishta, Satabisham, Purva Bhadra, Uttara Bhadra, and Ravati. So, Mesha to Ravati. The total is 27 nakshatras. Everybody knows how many each zodiac sign is nakshatras are there. In this each nakshatra, roughly you have to everything is calculated in degrees level. Each nakshatra having four padas, first of all. Four padas, each pada is three degree, 20 minutes. The total nakshatra is equal to 13 degrees, 20 minutes. That is the nakshatra duration. And I already told four padas. So, Nis Raji, how already we discussed each Rasi having 30 degrees. So, 9 Padas. 30 divided by 3 degree 20 minutes, it is equal to 9 Padas. Because 9 Padas having 1 Rasi. Like that, 27 Nakshatras having 108 Padas. Total. Because anybody born in the entire world, in the earth, or animals, human beings, plants, whatever it did, only this 27 nakshatras only. It is 108 padas only. That's why we have to daily perform is Ashtotara Satanam because we have to pray to universe. Everybody who was born on any pada, any nakshatram, the entire animal, human beings or plants or animals, whatever is the living things, you know, only 108 padas. That's why we have to, in puja, daily puja, we have to become an astrotaram, satanam, because one or everybody has all performed. That is the meaning of one or eight. 
the total is 108 pathas in entire bhajakra like this the medhi the nakshatra beginning jode uh, ye light ama in order to measure distance of astronomical points usse ganaka that is constellation of ravati ending end of the nakshatra is ravati is just which happens with the first point of aspani to ravati each nakshatra suppose nine pathas you have to told 12 zodiac signs we already discussed 12 zodiac signs what are the 12 zodiac signs already i think everybody knows that is mesha rasi aries 30 degrees aries consist of nine padas what are the nine padas first nakshatra first be first rasi is the aries sign that mesha rasi aswani is four padas and next second nakshatra is bharani that is four padas and puttika is the first charana belongs to the mesha rasi so nine padas aswani bharani puttika padam mesha the next part is next rasi is taras sign that is vrishabha rasi vrishabha rasi consists of three charanas of puttika four padas of rohini and two padas of murugasira total nine padas so Taras sign having Kutika, Rohini, Murugasira, half of the Murugasira stars, consist of the Taras sign. The next one is Mithuna Rasi, Jaimini sign. Mithuna Rasi consists of remaining two parts, the third and fourth turn of Murugasira, Arudra Nakshatra, four padas, and Punar Vasu, three padas. So Murugasira. Arudra, Punarvasu, three padas consist of the Mithuna Rasi. Having Mithuna Rasi. The next sign is Cancer sign, Karkataka Rasi. Fourth pada of Punarvasu and Pushimi, four padas and Aslesha, four padas. Total nine padas consist of Karkataka Rasi. And next one is Leo sign, that is Simha Rasi. Simha Rasi. Consist of Makha Nakshatra, four padas, Purva Palguni or Bubba Nakshatra, four padas, and Uttara Palguni, first pada. Consist of nine padas, Simharasi Leo sign. The next sign is Virgo, Kanyarasi. Three padas of Uttara Palguni, four padas of Hasta Nakshatra, Hasta star, and Chitta star one and two. Part Padas are belongs to the Kanya Rasi, Virgo sign. The next sign is Libra or Tula Rasi. Chitta, third and fourth Padas. Swati, four Padas. And next Nakshatham Visaka, one, two, three Padas. Three Padas, this is consist of Libra sign, the Tula Rasi. And next one is Scorpio sign, Ruchika Rasi. Fourth Pada of Visaka star and Anuradha, four Padas, Jest of four Padas, will consist of the Urchikaras. The next sign is Sagittarius, Dhanasurasi, Mula star, four Padas, Purvashada, four, four Padas, and Uttarashada, first Pada. This is belongs to Dhanasurasi. The next sign is Makara Rasi as Capricorn. Uttara Ashada, second, third, fourth Padas. Srevana Nakshatram, fourth Padas. And Dhanishta, first and second Padas consist of Capricorn sign or Makara Rasi. The next one is Kumbha Rasi or Aquarius sign. Dhanishta, third and fourth Padas. Tetabisham, four Padas. Purva Bhadra, 1, 2, 3 Padas. Answer total 9 Padas belongs to Aquarius sign Kumbharasi. The last sign is Pisces, Minarasi. Consists of Purva Bhadra, 4th Pada. Uttra Bhadra, 4 Padas. And Ravati Nakshatram, 4 Padas. This is the 27 Nakshatras and 108 Padas consist in the total Bhajakram. 
and also we have to know the influence what is the law ownership of the signs and ownership of the nakshatra also there because everybody ownership is influenced more on that particular star that's why we have to know the day lots masa adipati dal day lots and also nakshatra adipatis and Last year, but it's also we have to know land. Then only the planets influence and more on that particular Rasi, more influence. Suppose if you the first we have to know the Rasi Adipati. Rasi has been twelve signs. We have to already know Aries two Pisces. The Mesha Rasi, the Aries sign Lord is Mars, Puja planet, under the control. The Lavana ship is one house. Butchika. Rasi and Mesh Rasi, both signs law ownership is Mars. And Rushabha and Tula means Taurus and Libra sign. Adipati is Lord Venus. The third sign is Gemini and Virgo. Both signs under control of Lordship ownership is Mercury planet. Mercury planet. Karkataka Rasi, Cancer sign only ownership moon. And again, Simharasi, Leo sign, ownership is Lord Ravi, Ravi planet. So, sun, only single having Ravi and moon, sun and moon only having one one sign, ownerships. Remaining all having two two signs, ownerships. And Dhanas and Menarasi, this uh, Sagittarius and Pisces, Lord, ownership is Lord Jupiter, like Jupiter planet under control. Capricorn and Aquarius, Lord Seni, Seni Bhagavan, ownership. Like this, seven planets having ownership of the 12 signs. Rahu Ketu, there is no having any ownerships. Wherever they position in that chart, they are the archway that influence under the control. We remain seven planets having the ownership of the 12 signs. Like this, 27 stars also having ownership. We know so one category, nine categories, nine planets are there. Already we told now nine times. So each planet having three stars. Nine into the multiplied by three is equal to 27 stars. Okay. The first is Aswini star, we already know. Aswini Makha Mula. These three stars consist of one group. The Lord is Ketu. K2 planet is controlled under the Aswini star, Makha star, Mula star. Aswini stars, we know everybody, it is comes under Aries sign. Makha star comes under the Leo sign. Mula star comes under the Sagittarius sign. Though who born in Aswini, Mukha, Mula, at the day, the influence is K2 controlled. And the Lord ownership control also influence. The difference is a K2 influence also there. And if he is Aspini, that is Mars influence. If he is Makha, Sun and K2, here Mars and K2 influence. In Mola, Jupiter and K2, like this. The Nakshatra Lord is mainly Aspini, Makha, Mola. Stars Nakshatra Lord is K2. The second star, Bharani. Bharani, Porva Falguni, Porva Shada. These three under the Lordship ownership of Venus star. Bharani Nakshatram stars come under Bharani influence under the Venus and Mars because Bharani consists in the measure of Aries sign. So Lord is Mars. Mars and Venus effect on Bharani Nakshatram, Bharani star. Porva Falguni Nakshatram is Venus star and consist in the Leo sign. So, Ravi and Sukra influence. Porva Shada belongs to the Sagittarius sign. That is Venus and Jupiter influence on that Porva Shada. The second one is Kruttika first father. We told already nine fathers one sign. Kruttika first father belongs to, that is the Ravi star, Kruttika. First ownership of the Nakshatra Lord is Kruttika 
ಉತ್ತರ ಉತ್ತರಾಷಾಢ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರವಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ರವಿ ಬಟ್ ಹೀರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಕುತ್ತಿಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾದ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ರವಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೃಷಭ ಟಾರಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಟಾರಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಟಾರಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಶುಕ್ರ ಶುಕ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ರವಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಫಾದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಗೈನ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚರಣ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಲಿಯೋ ಸೈನ್ ಸೊ ರವಿ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಡಬಲ್ ರವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ವರ್ಗೋ ಸೈನ್ ವರ್ಗೋ ಸೈನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಶೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ರವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ಶೂರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಆಷಾಢ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾದ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸೆಜ್ಡಾರ್ ಸೈನ್ ಸೆಜ್ಡಾರ್ ಸೈನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುರು ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾದ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗುರು ರವಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ರಿಕಾರನ್ ಸೈನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ರಿಕಾರನ್ ಸೈನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಸೆನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರವಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ರವಿ ರಾಶಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಶ್ರವಣ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂನ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ವೃಷಭ ಟಾರಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಶುಕ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಸ್ತ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ವರ್ಗೋ ಸೈನ್ ದ ವರ್ಗೋ ಸೈನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಮೂನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಿಕಾರನ್ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಸೆನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೃಗಸಿರ ಮೃಗಸಿರ ಚಿತ್ತ ಧನಿಷ್ಠ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ದ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾದ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಟಾರಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಓನರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೀನಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕುಜ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೀನಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮೃಗಸಿರ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಮಿಥುನ ರಾಶಿ ಆರ್ ಜೈಮಿನಿ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬುಧ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಮೃಗಸಿರ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಚಿತ್ತ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ವರ್ಗೋ ಸೈನ್ ದ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಲಿಬ್ರಾ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಲಿಬ್ರಾ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೀನಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಧನಿಷ್ಠ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಧನಿಷ್ಠ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಈಸ್ ಮಕರ ರಾಶಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ರಿಕಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕುಂಭರಾಶಿ ಬೋತ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪುನರ್ವಸ್ ಪುನರ್ವಸು ವಿಶಾಖ ಪೂರ್ವ ಭಾದ್ರ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುರು ಜುಬಿಟರ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪುನರ್ವಸು ಇನ್ ಜೈಮಿನಿ ಸೈನ್ ದ ರಾಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗುರು ಬಿಕಾಸ್
and star lord is saturn mars and saturn uttara bhadra four powers comes under pisces sign or mina rasi uh, that lord is rasi lord is jupiter and star lord is saturn guru saturn guru sign influence the last one is revati revati means aslesha four powers revati revati jesta aslesha jesta revati the comes are last star lord is mercury four powers first aslesha four powers comes under cancer sign the moon rasi lord is moon and mercury influence jesta four powers comes under scorpion sign so rasi lord is mars and mercury influence and revati four powers comes under pisces sign the rasi lord is jupiter jupiter mercury like this the nine planets three three one is having three three stars and also the influence on every anybody or plants or animals or human beings whatever the earth only comes in the 727 nakshatras only the influence on which the nakshatra fall and the which rasi the rasi lord influence and star lord influence also there this is the basic basic information about some nakshatras this is just this is basic is so many things are there so many aspects are there so many specialization also there but basic we have to know first why the adi devatas influence on that day ruling planets of the day what is the ruling planets ruling planets means suppose it's sunday what is the day lord ravi what is the nakshatra suppose if fallen in pushmi nakshatra suppose you think it pushmi nakshatra lord is we already told guru nakshatra seni nakshatra seni influence on that day who is the pushmi nakshatra moon what is the man, mind manaso ja chandra manaso ja ta cancer sign the rasi lord is moon we have to know what is the tidi tidi lord already told which maasa maasa lord is there that influence particular day or particular month particular that is the most important according to we have to know that which things i can do so this is the which we have to thorough in this subject these things then we have to know which is the tidi is the best which day lord is to do the some things which is the favorable days and all these things and remaining two parts of panchangam yogam and karanam and what is gocharam transit what is gocharam how to base brief information of purtam what is hora and all other things we have to learn tomorrow class i think too much in <laughs> given also i think today overloaded up to this what you have to know till now what is the kala swarupa what is the difference what is the lords panchanga swarupam and all these things in that everybody having any doubts till that subject up to today's subject you can ask i will try to clarify up to my level thank you all dhanyavadam nandi namaskar yeah i think we, we need to distribute the notes also to these uh, students okay. oh good anybody having doubts or continue anybody has doubts yeah there is one question in the chat box is anuradha nakshatra suitable mm -hmm. for simantam the second question is what is the influence of stars and planets on human life anuradha is same that is another subject that is mohartha bhagam and sodasa karma that is advanced level of course of course tomorrow i will clarify that mohartha after that i will tell briefly what how to influence means we have to and the atmosphere influence some sun is there you feel hot or not that is influence like that every planet having some nature some tatvam having a if suppose mars is there the agni tatva the panche bhutam you know that like that every planet having some gunas that influence automatically if night moon means cold ratri night time there is no light so you feel cold like that that is the influence like the stars also same 
the Jideotas also already told that influence they take in the planets and the races through races on the influence on the earth. According to we have to react that influence under the planet's control. Right. Okay, there is only one question in the chat box. Uh, I think Sujata Bharati Garu. Uh, Ma'am, can we have the list of the Rashi, the Rashi Lord, the Nakshatra and the Nakshatra Lord? Already given, I think, so on the notes. The no. notes is not distributed. Uh, ah, okay. They will give supply to you. But if any doubt, we already told in the... This upload will be YouTube also, I think. So, we'll yeah. make it easy. We have not been able to copy down so fast. Pardon? That is the and reason you are having to make the list. Yeah, yeah. they we'll could not it. note it down. So, okay, the recording, no yeah, the recording is given only for that. You can yeah, fully sit they down. Yeah, upload in the YouTube down. also. I think yeah. so. Babu sir will be uploaded. Right. Uh, Madam Namaskar, Madam. Uh, Panchangam lo manam chepanga thene tithi vara nakshatra mo. Plus yoga mm -hmm. and karana. E modu yes. general ka vadu kalo unto ni kada ni tithi evale tithi vara mo nakshatra. E yoga karana me puru vada thara ni thani pramukhya thendi. Yoga tomorrow I will tell discuss yoga and karana. Yoga yeah. also karana also very important. According to our karma, we have to go on particular yoga. And karana adipati, yoga adipati, we have to perform that to reduce our karma. That is the important. And every mohata also we have to take in yoga and karana also. But nowadays, this is general rule, siddhi var nakshatra. That's all. But we have to take in five elements. Five angas we have to consider for any mohata. Okay. I will okay. detail, detail tomorrow lecture yoga and karana. What in which day we come to perform what things. All right. Okay. Namaskar Wendy. Namaskar. Namaskar Wendy. Uh, Baga explain just a little. Ah, uh, the panchanga or latitude, longitude, no butti marto untanda. Ante Andhra lo kati, Karnataka lo kati. Ante plus minus. Tamil Nadu lo kati. Yes, ko. Oka panchanga katta. Oka place unji panchanga last time. For suppose Hyderabad aunte. Take na Hyderabad longitude, latitude according to they have to calculate. Plus okay. again, they have to give the uh, some plus minus. Suppose if you want to be plus minus. Hyderabad, okay. Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi. You can they add it to the time. Suppose you've given the one more term according to Hyderabad time, longitude, latitude. Okay. You can plus minus different. for that. Okay. It may differ if from another. Like that. If mm -hmm. you are Bombay, plus mm -hmm. 33. Like that. Vijayawada, mm -hmm. plus 30. Mm -hmm. You can add the question that Mm. Now, when we go out of India also, it will be like that one. Yes, anyway, you can take the language to language. Because the day moon and the planets are rotating, no? not one, they are not stationary. They are moving. Stressed mm. mm. space. That's but, why uh, birth is very really important. Mm. The position mm. is. But when we buy one book and then follow, it is not, it is very difficult, I think. Echo, you no, have to... They can give, not like that. They can give the chart in Panchang. Okay. I will show to you. Plus minus uh, all states they can give. In every Panchang, generally. All Panchang okay. Katas are given like that. Yeah, but it is very difficult to read uh, the Panchang book. Can you tell us oh, no. how to see? You see, like this, they can everybody give in. In this chart uh -huh. in every Panchang book. Yes. How to take okay. plus minus in India. Particularly in India, first. All states, all country, all big major cities. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I will go through it. Plus minus everything. Okay. Like that. Panchangata belongs to Hyderabad. You can generally, we can take east side, generally, Rajamandri. We can take from there too, we can calculate. Yeah. Plus minus, we can add in that salt. Nothing to worry that moment. Siri also same. Every day we can take like that on. If you follow which Panchang, they are mentioned in Panchang Katha also in Panchang. The basic on Rajavandi or Kalkanada or Hyderabad, we have to prepare this Panchang. 
మనది బేసికలీ చాంద్రమానం బేస్ అండి అంటే కదా అంటే ఓకే ఆల్్రెడీ సౌరమానం అంటే రవి ట్రాన్సిట్ డిపెండింగ్ అప్ ఆన్ రవి ట్రాన్సిట్ దే హావ్ ఫాలో సౌరమానం సేమ్ మిగిల్ ఫంక్షన్ एवरीथिंग ఇస్ సేమ్ బట్ దే ఫాలో స్టార్ట్ ద మాసం స్టార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద రవి చేంజెస్ ఇన్ ద రాశి దట్ దే హావ్ స్టార్ట్ ద మాసం స్టార్టింగ్ వి హావ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ ద ద మాసం ఇస్ చంద్రమానం మోస్ట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ సదరన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఓకే any other questions oh, okay i will uh, distribute the notes also given by uh, the document given by the uh, teacher you go through that today and uh, tomorrow also you may ask some questions yes we can taro uh, gone through that notes and if any doubts you can not understand you can explain re explain no problem that way okay let's go for now prarthana సర్దాజీ అన్యూట్ ఎవరు సార్ స్వస్తి ప్రజాభ్యా పరిపాలయంతాయేన మార్గేణ మహీన్ మహేషా గోబ్రాహ్మణేభ్య శుభమస్తు నిత్యం లోకాసమస్తా కాలే వర్షతు పర్జన్య పృథివీ సాలిని దేశోయం శోభరహితో బ్రాహ్మణాస్యంతు నిర్భయా అపుత్రా పుత్రిణస్యంతు పుత్రిణస్యంతు పౌత్రిణ అధన సదన సంతు జీవంతు సరదాం సతం సత్యం వద ధర్మం చర స్వాధ్యాయాన్ పశ్యంతు మా కచిత్ దుఃఖభాగ్భవేద్ ఓం శాంతి 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 ఓం పూర్ణమద పూర్ణమిద పూర్ణాత్ పూర్ణముదచ్చతే పూర్ణ పూర్ణమాదాయ పూర్ణమేవాశిష్యతే ఓం శాంతి 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 సర్వే జనా సుఖినోవంతు స్వస్తి ధన్యవాదములండి లెట్స్ గో ఫర్ జనగణమణ తెల్లా చిత్రబాబు గారు జనగణమన అధినాయక జయ హే భారత భాగ్య విధాత పంజాబ్ సింధు గుజరాత్ మరాఠా ద్రావిడ ఉత్కళ బంగా వింధ్య హిమాచల యమునా గంగ ఉచ్చల జలధితరంగ తవ శుభ నామే జాగే తవ శుభ ఆశిష మాంగే గాహే తవ జయ గాథ జనగణ మంగళదాయక జయ హే భారత భాగ్య విధాత జయ హే జయ హే జయ హే జయ 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 హే జయ జయ ధన్యవాదములండి